Yeah. Yikes. Welcome back, guys. Yeah. Hi. Jarrell here. <laughs> I'm Josh. Um, yes, and we're here to talk about Morgan Jones, ladies and gentlemen, and his mental state. Mm-hmm. Yeah, guys. So, Fear <laughs> the Walking Dead Season 6. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking out the live stream, and thank you for Mario the Third giving us the information. Uh, we kind During of, the live stream. During the live stream, yes. We kind of played it. It was probably not really good quality for you guys, but... Um, man, what a little teaser that Fear the Walking Dead sent out. Morgan Jones is dead. You're dealing with somebody else now. Which begs the question of, as I said, what is Morgan's mental state right now? And we've known in the past he's had tons of issues with, you know, his, his right. mental state uh, and specifically going clear. Um, yeah. so we're here to discuss... Does he have a grip on that, that uh, you know, reality? <laughs> right. I mean, I love seeing that teaser, but it kind of also makes me think, like, is this just for promotional? I or is not. this really what they're going to do with Morgan? God, I really hope they're really doing this with Morgan. You know, because, like, let's just say this, okay? Let's say that, you know, we know that Morgan at the end of Season 5 was, you know, becoming more of who he wanted to be. He wanted to love again. He wanted mm -hmm. to kind of not forget his family, but allow them to rest in peace properly. And he knows the turmoil that he's had through this whole journey dealing with that. And I'm wondering if maybe when Ginny shot him, and as he's recovering from these wounds, maybe he feels that old Morgan Jones is dead. Not that he's going to go clear, but maybe he has a clearer mindset of who he is to where I'm done with that old life. My new life now is saving my friends and saving people, you know, um, and fighting back better, basically, yeah, yeah, I, I think. I, I'm, I'm kind of uh, maybe not necessarily saving people. Like, don't get me wrong. Saving people is great. Right, yeah. But I just think that he's spent so much time the last few seasons worrying about other people right. that he's neglected worrying about him. He's neglected himself. Himself and the others. Um, and I want to see that. I want to yeah. see him say, I'm here to save my people. Forget everyone else. Right. So, guys, another really good comparison you would think is, okay, how is he going to act? Is he going to act like we saw in this teaser or is it going to be different? So, one thing that we were thinking of is, is he going to be similar to kind of season five Rick Grimes for Terminus and when they first came into Alexandria? Ooh, Rick Grimes. was... Mm. I mean, you could say he was brutal, but I think that Rick was more zoned in. Yeah, you're like, absolutely like right. Like, he was just so zoned in that, yes, he had issues dealing with his own group. His own group thought he was crazy, but I think Rick was just so in. Like, he was dialed in. He was, like, clear. Uh, you could it, say it was clear. It, it, there, there was nothing that was going to stop Rick from getting what he wanted at that simple moment. And that's probably the perfect way to put it. Mm-hmm. This season, I think if they're giving us the the correct deal here and showing us what Morgan is really like, there is going to be nothing that stops Morgan from getting his people, um, and and it, in my opinion, destroying Ginny. Yeah, yeah. I th I, like I want to see that the most. Like imagine the Rick Gareth scene with like Morgan and Ginny. Oh. <laughs> That would be insane, dude. Because we also we also have to think about this. Like, what if something happens to Grace? Mm -hmm. Like Ooh, we we God, know that we yeah. know that we know the child that she was bearing is not Morgan's, but he cares for her. You think she loses the child? I think she loses. I don't the child. know, guys. I I, I don't want to say. I like. Look, I don't want that to happen. We, I just think that she loses the child. We are not scientists. We don't know what happens to a fetus that has radiation poisoning from its mother. I have no idea. Uh, I don't even want to guess. Never. We're not even, <laughs> we're, we're <laughs> not even getting into I it. I was going to say there are, there was actually in the Chernobyl, Chernobyl stuff. Series, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, right. and this is true. There was a lady that, that was told her baby was do a done deal. Mm -hmm. And she ended up giving birth to a healthy true. child. Yes. It can happen. Uh, yeah. It can happen, right. but I, but I agree with you. Highly doubt. What will they do for grace? Yeah. You know, depending on this time skip, because if we're time skipping to a year or two years, this baby should be born. True. So True. maybe you might be right. Maybe Dude. she does end up so, losing it. And my next point is for Morgan to go Rick-style Gareth on Ginny, Ginny has to be, we have to be shown 
some some bad things from Jenny's angle. Like I have to hate her more, yeah, uh, than what I do now. Because really, right now she's just an annoyance to me. Like I, there's no reason other than the fact that she stole our people uh, yeah. to to hate her. Right? Um, you might even argue that she has reasoning for taking these people. Yeah. Uh, so I need to see more. Is Jenny responsible for Grace's baby's death? Or Maybe. is the baby born and Grace takes the baby away from, or, or Jenny takes the baby away from Grace? Maybe, yeah. That would be some fuel to the fire for Morgan. Yeah, I do agree with you. I think Jenny will have to do something significant to really bring the hatred for Morgan against her to kind of do a Rip Garrett yeah. style zoned in or clear anything, state. Or justify brutally killing her. Like, right. I need more than, than what I've seen to date. Like, it's just, right. I mean, he's going to want vengeance because he shot her, but he's going to okay. want vengeance because... I wasn't necessarily friend. thinking of that. So, yeah, there yeah. is that. <laughs> unless, he, um, <laughs> unless he doesn't want vengeance for shooting him, he just I wants... I mean, she did yeah. tell him, I hate your face. And <laughs> <laughs> tried to murder him. He did, so there yeah. is that. Right. Uh, yeah. But... But, no, I meant just yeah. for her dying in general. Like, yeah. I just... Look, she's a villain, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see her do more villain shit, I yeah. guess. We'll have to see something. I mean, we're, like we've said, we're going to see a different side of Ginny because they've casted uh, a young actress to play her little sister. So we're going to see a different dynamic with Ginny of how she relates to her. But um, mm -hmm. but getting back to Morgan, man, I mean, I if this is only for promotional, it's getting you hyped. But if, if they do keep a piece of this for Morgan, that, you know... Maybe Morgan is like he's saying. Part of him is dead. He's, you're dealing with somebody else now. Does that mean it's an evil self? No. It could be somebody who's more locked in, who has a better understanding, and who could do things in a better way than what he used to do to protect the people that he loves. Yeah. I, I just think if they don't end up using any of this, it's just a lost opportunity. Yeah. And, and I really hope they do. And I hope that we see him in that clothing. That clothing was weird. It was like... <laughs> I don't know, pinstriped kind of. But you know what throws me off? It's kind of cool. He has the red eyes, and yeah. and we've seen photos of the sea of the season released where he does not have that. Now, uh, Jarrell and I have said maybe that's the initial healing, right? Maybe that yeah. maybe he had that for a little bit, but obviously it right. heals and goes away. Yeah, when we mentioned it, uh, I did see some comments in there. People talking about you know. Uh, Different, you know, eyes getting, you know, your blood vessels being broken. They, they can go red and then they heal over time. Hemorrhages, you know, a hemorrhage in your brain or a hemorrhage behind the eye could do that, but it could heal over time. There are, I know there are some instances where it could be permanent. I don't know about that level of redness. It could be maybe opaque or something, but his red eyes are like almost like vampire type. Oh, they're almost eyes. blood. I mean, it's straight up blood. It's straight up blood. Yeah. So... Like you said, it could be, you know, maybe that's early on in his I just recovery. Hope that, I just yeah. hope that them adding that, as, if we don't get the red eyes, right, then they added right. that for promotional value. Right. And are they adding this for promotional value? I certainly hope not because hope it would not. be a, an opportunity squandered. Because, I mean, the way that he stands in that video where he comes up and he's standing there, I would love to see that, like, his first scene. He's just like, I, I'd, lo <laughs> I'd love to, him to say that to Jenny. Oh, Ooh, that would be a Or maybe line. he says that to everyone that he meets that knew him at one point, right? That wanted to kill him at one point, and he says that before he kills him. <laughs> Imagine him saying that to the bounty hunter. To the bounty hunter, <laughs> but basically like the Rick Gareth type scene, Rick's speech, maybe he says that. You're dealing with somebody else now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're nice just, sound effects. <laughs> we're hyped up, guys. I mean, this this teaser got us super hyped. We're ready for this season. It's going to be dark. It's going to be gritty. Um, we just hope that the writers are doing this in the right way. From what we've heard for the early reviews of the first episode, it's really good. We're, we're just so pumped. And, you know, we know this is a Morgan-type video, but kind of going on season six for just a minute, like, you know, I want to see more of our other characters. I want to see more growth from Strand, especially Alicia. Now that we have Daniel back in the mix, what Charlie's going to do, June, John, I mean, I, and Sarah, and Wendell, everyone. Yeah. But what is really their focus for Morgan There's this season? There's a lot of characters out there. And the way they're doing this season, I don't think that we'll get to all of them in the first part of the season. And if we do, it'll be very light touches what? of... With you the know, anthology. Quick, quick scenes. Yeah, you know? with the anthology type episodes, I think we will. But 
Yeah, I mean, I want to know what their end goal is for Morgan. And how this season is going to play out will determine, is this going to be the last? Or from a, what you guys have mentioned, too, where we had a video talking about a Marvel-style crossover, are they going to just catch up fear to the to the Walking Dead timeline and yeah. merge it all or something or just end it? I don't know. Have yeah. Morgan and Dwight go back home to Alexandria. I know, yeah. It, it'd be interesting, and guys. I just, uh, I, I'm with you. I'm, I'm really pumped about this season. I wasn't. Uh, I always am, but I, I wasn't as pumped. But seeing that, I mean, that's kind of what I wanted. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. That's what we want, guys. So let us know what you think in the comments. Will Morgan become a Rick season five? Just locked in, dude. Where he's like clear <laughs> mode, man. Dude, I, I don't know. I loved Rick in season five. Oh, he yeah. was just. I mean, I love him in all seasons, but season five, he was just that like, oh. scene with Gareth was one of my favorites. Well, and uh, the scene uh, in Alexandria. I mean, just, he, he, if you watch that scene again, his eyes. He doesn't take his eyes off. Never him. leave Gareth. He is watching him the whole time, and I mean, he's locked in like a predator. Dude. That line where he's like, "But someone will." Yeah, like <laughs> he, Garrett's like, "I'll never cross anyone's path, but someone will." Yeah. <laughs> well, it was kind oh, of, dude, and then in Alex, goosebumps. and then in Alexandria, where um, where he killed Pete, where yeah. she was like, "Do it," and he just without hesitation, <laughs> boom, and then he looks up, and Morgan's right there looking at him, like, "Dude, what did you just do?" And Rick's like, "Yeah." Like, <laughs> like that one thing. What? You know, blood all over his face? But uh, yeah, let us know what you think in the comments, guys. Make sure if you like the video, give it a quick like. And if you are new here, please subscribe to the channel. Join our community. We truly appreciate the love and support. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Knock Nation. We're out.